Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. You know where you're at. You're at Mama's Forte School. We leave the light on for you. Okay, we like Hotel, Motel 6. We leave the light on for your mind. Hope we know everybody's going to come in whenever they can fit it in. Some come watch me or come visit me in the morning. Some come in the afternoon. Some come at night. Okay? We just got to like get over here. So whenever y'all are looking at me, know that I love you. And I'm glad you come over to support me. Good job, baby. We started off the day, well, we started off that evening with finding out that Nene Leaks is selling her condo apartment downtown. So I know she just got it last year, I think in October. And it ain't been a year. Let me see, November 10th, January 3rd, March 10th, all been eight months. And we are embarking on. The anniversary of Chris Dick. I think he died in September, right? So, Nene, you've been going through a lot, a lot of mess. All right, you don't close your legs to married men. You're dropping it down low, spread it wide, and getting on folks' nerves. And who is the common denominator in this scenario? Peter. Peter, Peter, Funky Eater, had a wife, couldn't keep her, okay? That's male right there. Male married to that man in blue. Scammer. Shabu. Okay. Now, how could it be that Shabu man and Peter man can come to you and hook you up with the scammer man? Shabu. Shabu, Shabu, Shabu. Okay. And I always said it. Peter did not forgive you for calling him a bitch. Now, wouldn't it be something if Peter, the wife, and Chopper Man did you in in it? Did you in? Because right now, you want to eat. I mean, you even told Cynthia when she was married to Peter that he was a bitch. Okay? And we all know Cynthia was just eating you out from behind, honey. She would eat you up like. Soup, some her favorite soup or her favorite cereal or favorite cake. Okay, she was your girl, and she, in her eyes, you could do no wrong. But you did cross the line when you had called her husband a bitch, or he was acting like a bitch, or woman getting all in, in woman's uh, business and situation. He had no business there. Yes. Yeah, so wouldn't it be the ultimate get back if he set this all up? Just to get Nene back. Because from loud as I'm going to speak it out and yell it out to the rooftops. I don't think Peter got no money either. That's why Cynthia got rid of him. He was going into her accounts and everything. And wasn't telling her. And we do know. Kiki Y and Tamar. Braxton. Performed at Nene's lounge. But now we hear. And Nene Leaks don't even have her lounge anymore. Allegedly. Some people speculate the health department shut her down. And she don't have the money to meet those regulation needs to open up the restaurant again for business, for people to come patron her. It shut down like four, we call it, Fort Knox. That's how, that's how tight it's, it's shut down in Atlanta. And just recently, she was up there trying to tell us she needed more chefs. She needed more entertainers. I'm like, for what? You just shut it down like it ain't nobody's business. Like, uh, Peter been running the shit for you. And here you is. Got all that money or how much it was from Greg's death benefit. 
You should be worried about your son, Brent, and the oldest one, Bryson. And this is supposed to be a legacy because you rent that building. You don't own that building. I done been over there before. I've seen what it looks like when I was over there in that area. But nanny girl, most people do not shut a restaurant down because you are sick or your son is sick. Okay, business still go on. It has to. That's your livelihood. But the only two reasons that I know any type of organization or business is shut up just as tight as Fort Knox. You don't fail some health inspections and they are not allowing people to come in and eat in your dirty restaurant. Okay? The second one would be you don't lost your restaurant. Okay? You didn't pay what you supposed to pay to lease that building. So they locked you out. Now isn't that piss poor management skills 101? That's piss poor. And you should know better. You're 54 years old, 55, somewhere like that. Now you already shut down the swag boutiques. You had three of them in three locations. And before we knew it, Oh, Christmas had went past us and, and it came back again. You had to shut that shit down. You had people calling you, trying to reach you, trying to call the media to see what's going on. We came in to work at Sweat Boutiques and they shut down. And of course, Nene didn't have anything to say. A publicity person didn't have anything to say. We stayed in the news for a couple of weeks and then it went on about its business. Now we have the Lenifia. Is being questioned. Are you not paying your bills? Are you not paying your employees? It ain't. But you having all kinds of different nights. You having jazz night. You having sorority night. You're having a gay night. I'm like, girl, girl, what are you doing? Is your money depleting that fast? Uh, because we all know a restaurant has to be run, and it takes payroll checks. It, it takes passing in inspections. It takes buying food and drinks. All that costs. And if you ain't got a steady revenue stream to link to keep fun, uh, funneling that business, you got issues. So you can tell us, Nene, we, we don't want to know. We don't want to speculate. And we don't wish you no harm. See, all this shit, when you mess with that man, knew he was married and married to an African woman. And he don't lie to her, and you don't lie to her. And honey, when a woman is scorned, you don't want to be around her when she's taking her rape out on whoever she can get to her. Now, the lady probably told you, leave my husband alone. You just do caution to the wind. Like you sitting up there just taking selfies on yourself, talking about something. Yours, mine, and ours. No, 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 no. That's not how I go, Nene. He is never yours because you're not married to him. And for you to sit there and be flaunting that on social media, and she probably don't even watch social media, but her friends or family members that watch social media say, uh-uh, I ain't gonna let you go out like this. You need to get a handle on this situation. And then she found out about you. And it don't take much to find out about a person as as, as loud as you are in the, the media and how you want to be shown on TV. I mean, my God, let's just look at this situation. Greg was barely hanging on. He was fighting for counts. He lost the battle. He died. Then look what happened. You had to sell the house. Okay. Then you had to close down your swag routine. And your son was in a car accident. And they say he it was involved some other people. I don't know if they got hurt. The son came out unscathed. I don't know about the other people that were involved with the accident with your son. Then now we got the Lenithia lounges closed down. And people that own lounges or any type of food restaurant type of establishment or clothing store, you don't close down, that means you ain't making no money. When the cash register ain't ringing up, 
you gonna be looking like you're in the red. It's gonna be a very large deficit. That means your employees can't get paid. So who gonna be in now cooking up the food? Who gonna be in now entertaining the guests? And can you even get in the door for any of the other two to happen? Shit, I hear it's closed down. So was it the health inspections or was it you couldn't pay the lease on the property? Because that's what we hear hearing out here. One or the other. We can't confirm and we can't deny. And it might be a little bit of both of them. You don't lock, you don't you didn't pay the rent and you let it get behind. Well the Food and Drug Administration came and took them health inspectors and said, nope, you can't operate like this. You can't operate with rodents running around here. Roaches running around here. Nope, it ain't safe for the consumer. So until you can pay these fines off and get these corrections straightened out to a proving standard, then you will be shut down. So I don't know, family, what y'all think. Y'all got out of them comments. So let me know what y'all think about this situation. Y'all think Peter had a hand in bringing Nene down all the way down to her kneecaps where she can't see it? I mean, I know she missed Greg. And Greg probably was the brain behind the finances and trying to keep everything above. While Nene just trace around the world, claiming she's a rich bitch, she did, she did. But in hindsight, mm -mm, everything looking pretty, pretty desperate and pretty, pretty bad. And we got a lot of piss poor management going around here. It is too much foolishness, fuckery, fraudulent, fakery shit going on. All right. Just to say, you want to be with Shabba Man, Shabba. It's the love of Man, Shabba Shabba. He ain't worth it, girl. Give him back to his life, his wife, and it's yourself and him go part ways. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do, Nene. Give him back to Mal. Apologize to Mal. And hit the road. And maybe your karma will straighten up. And bring some good news to, to you. Instead of all this bad stuff that's happening. It's for a reason. For a reason. You had no business. I mean, most people, if they're going to fool around with somebody's husband, they ain't going to do it in front of everybody. They ain't going to do it in front of the cameras. They ain't going to be on their cell phone taking selfies with the alleged man that's supposed to be married. No! You're a side chick. I told you all these side chicks trying to come out and be the main chick. That ain't happening. That is, and I don't know, I'm not African, so I can't say how them African women get down about their men, girl. But I'm pretty sure they serious about them just like we are serious about our black men. White man, Asian man, whatever. Mr. Lover Man, Shaba. <laughs> ah! Any word to the wise, drop that trick as quick as you got with him, quick as you can get rid of him. Let him go about his merry way before you end up destitute, poor, and in somebody's shelter. Okay? Because I'm sure both of your sons ain't going down with you like that. Especially Brett. He was like, uh-uh, you need to pull up. Because when you went down there, trying to secure a condo downtown in Atlanta, I knew you had lost your mind then. I said, she's on a downward spiral and it's just going to get uh, uglier by the days that go by. Girl, girl, ain't no dick that good losing everything around you. No material value and just, you know, food, shelter, and clothing. Clothing, okay? Food, shelter, you need the utilities. Love ain't got nothing to do with this. Like Tina Turner said, what's love got to do, got to do with it? Yes! What's love but a second hand emotion? What's love got to do, got to do with it? Who needs a heart when 
Oh, I can't be broken. Yes. You better get some Tina Turner music up for you, girl. But she said, ain't nothing. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. That's right. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. And what the other song called? You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. It's just a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. No, 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 no. Boom, 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 boom. I know y'all heard their song before. Ooh, I used to play it for a, a, a lot of times when I was in my 20s. <laughs> but as you get older and you see things clear, she, you can be solo for a long time and just have a companion. All right, leave all that other bullshit alone. Uh-uh, we ain't got time. We, we, we in our uh, stages of we going into our senior citizen mode. We ain't got time for no bullshit. We ain't got time for nobody faking the phone for nobody. And I can see if you did not know the man was married. You knew good God dog on well the man was married. The man was married. Ooh, child. It's scandalous around here. And it ain't marvelous because you, you, you losing too much, girl. You losing too much. Whew. And I thought Cynthia was the airhead. And she, I think she loaned Peter some money. Had something in the court system trying to get her money from him. And she knew he wasn't going to, she knew she wasn't going to get it from Peter. She knew it. That's why she had to go back in the court and just say, I just take it as a loss. I just take it as a loss. Because Peter good at getting people money and investing it into bars and other locations, lounges and shit, and still be in the red. I just don't understand. I don't know how he can go around here, be doing all these things, and still be having a failing business all at the same damn time. You, with your desperate self, like you just have to have a man, you got to be around you, you, you are nothing without a man. You let Peter, Peter fucking eat him, had a wife he couldn't keep him. He put her in a fucking shirt and then he kept her very well. Girl, let's get into this nurse around shit, okay? Because it ain't no born in situation. Like, I love you. You love me. We're a great big family. Hell, we know we're not. No, we're not. If it's going to cost us, we don't need you. No, no, no. We don't need you and the headaches that you're going to probably bring with that. Because, honey, between you and Mal, that's a twosome. That ain't got nothing to do with me. We ain't saying we're going to be no Nigel Montois. And I don't think Mal get down like that either. But honey, Scammer Man saw too much too soon and he was ready to go. And you were just there, hook, line, and sinker. Ready to eat up all his words and all his charismatic ways and all his stressing. And you know, you know, Nene, you know. You know you can't pull a man like that, girl. <laughs> you can't pull a man like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, I ain't gonna say he was better than Greg, cause to me, Greg looked better than him. But you tried to pull a married man, girl. Mm -mm. Throw him back in the ocean. He he was a fish that you didn't need to catch. You know them little skinny fishes that you be catching, but you think you got something big till you reel that shit in. It ain't nothing but a, a little baby fish. That's all you had, honey. He still had breast milk on him from his wife. And you should have left him right there. Right there. There ain't that much loneliness in the world. It's good to be alone. Now, being lonely and being alone, those are two different things. Two different things. And you got to love yourself. But... Honey, baby. That's all I got for this video, guys. And I'm like, she just losing too much. And we already know her, her mind on left her. But my goodness, she forgets she has two sons in this world. I could lose all that money. What's she going to do? Work at Walmart? Which one, what can she possibly do? She was a stripper. She had something like a, a clothing store thing, I think Therese said. When they first said came on the scene of Real Housewives of Atlanta, but it went better little kid to lose that too. And ever since Greg dies, like she loses everything. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, everything is gone. Gone. 
going. I know the high powered attorneys that she don't hire, they don't retain them and they probably be mega expensive. Meaning everything is just depleting out her account. Out her account. I'm, I'm pretty hoping she think they would settle because she don't want to take this to court. And I don't, I'm not going to say the robber want to take it to court either. It just depends on do she have a rock solid case. And then, you know, She'll be saying, she won't be saying nothing about Bravo anymore. They'll be going to pass her a check under the table. Okay, might be one big lump sum, might be uh, some in installments. Child, you were not a creator. You were not a producer on the show. So, you can't be thinking about getting all that kind of money. And by the time your attorneys uh, get their big chunk out of it, what will you really have left? And nobody's going to touch you with a 10 foot pole. you just been acting out in social media like, I don't know, like a bad child, like a two year old child. And then picking at Andy, still smiling. Oh, yeah, I think, I think it's his birthday. Well, happy birthday. Maybe we can sit and have a talk. That man don't want to talk to you. He probably despises you. Wish you would go off the face of the earth. Because you don't mess with the wrong one. But you are damaged to your own self. You damage your own self, child. You get in your own way. You bring your own self down. Because you just show nothing but ignorance. And your arrogance. And you think you're better than certain people. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like and love, gotta have more. Y'all know where to go. Make sure you like, subscribe, share my videos. Those are the three things that I ask of you all the time. Do anybody know who that guy to the right is? That, is that his son? Or maybe that's uh, Mal's brother. Who knows? Yeah, I don't think Peter ever forgot. And I don't think he ever forgave me to call him a bitch on live TV. Hate TV, but it goes around the world. Mm-hmm. You probably still ain't lived that one down. But all right, guys. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.